I want you to think about if you've ever gotten a dent in your car. I mean like a little tiny dent. Like somebody opened their door in your car when you were at the grocery store and you came out and you saw that dent. What do you see every time you look at that car? What do you talk to your friends about? This, this, this dent is killing me. And your friends look at you and they're like, what are you talking about? There are so many times in our lives where we criticize ourselves for something that nobody else will ever notice. Maybe you feel like your nose is too big. Maybe you feel like your hair is too thin. Maybe you feel like there's something about you that everyone is staring at all the time when they're not. I'll tell you right now, I held on to my hair for way too long. You might have noticed there's none of it there anymore because I kept looking in the mirror and saying, it's too thin, it's too thin, it's too thin until I finally had the guts to get rid of it. And you know what? It's one of the best things I ever did. Why? Because I embraced it. I looked at it and I said, I'm making a change on purpose. I'm not going to be a victim of this anymore. I'm not going to be dictated to anymore by circumstances. I'm going to choose how I handle the situation. And no matter what it is, no matter it's a dent on a car, no matter if it's a, a flaw that we perceive in ourselves, it's a decision for how we handle it. And it's a choice of how we approach the world because of it. And there's so many times when you might look at somebody and admire their confidence. We don't look at people and say they're visually perfect. We look at them and say they're confident. And sometimes the most attractive people by traditional standards are the most insecure. And why could that be? It's because their entire self-worth has been predicated on the fact that they're beautiful. People look at them and they say, you're so beautiful, that's their value, it's their worth. But they know intrinsically, it's not forever. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. Not that dent in your car, someday you might sell it. Not your hair, someday it's gonna be gone. Not your big nose, <laughs> nothing is permanent. And if we can embrace that, if we can look in the mirror and not see the flaws, but see all the redeeming qualities that we have as individuals, we will begin to thrive because none of it matters as much as we think. When we walk into a room, all we think about is that somebody's going to notice that thing that we focused on when we got dressed for the party and nobody cares. Nobody sees it. Nobody notices, nobody comments, nobody cares. But you know what they will see? They'll see how great your hair looks when all you can focus on is how bad that dress looks on you on the lower left corner, whatever it is. Maybe your shirt's a little too tight, guys. Maybe the jacket doesn't fit right. Maybe your cuff isn't a quarter inch from your fingertips. But somebody's gonna notice your pocket square. People pay attention to the things they want to see. They pay attention to the details that you put effort into. They will never focus on the flaws that you see that nobody else is even going to notice. And this is a cycle. And it's a, it's a process of going out into the world and embracing the things that we feel are our flaws. It's embracing the things that we can go out and use to our advantage. It's going out there and being fully ourselves. It's stepping into our power. It's understanding that no matter who you look at, no matter who it is, somebody is self-conscious about something. Me, you, the person sitting next to you watching this, every single person commenting on a YouTube video as if they're perfect is self conscious about something. You can have a supermodel, you can have anybody in the world that's going to tell you there's something they don't like about themselves. And you're going to look at that person and think they are crazy. Think they're insane. They might even get paid for the way they look. Strictly because of how they look. And they're going to tell you they don't like it. Or something about it they don't like. And you'll think they're nuts. And then you're going to tell them something about yourself that you don't like. And they're going to tell you that you're nuts. 
but in your head, it's the only thing you can focus on. So, what's the solution? Now, there are certain things we can work on, sure. Maybe you feel like you're overweight. I certainly do a lot of times, so what do I do? I go to the gym and I fix it. There are a lot of things we can work on, but there's a lot of things we can't. Now, I wasn't gonna get surgery to fix my hair, so what I do? Get rid of it. And I embraced it. And I love the fact that I did that because it wasn't holding me back anymore. See, that's the thing. That's the thing, is that once you let these things affect you, once you let them pull you back, once you let them keep you from living your fullest life, you're losing control of who you are, you're losing control of what you do, you're losing control of who you meet and who you become. Because you're not stepping into your events, your power, your opportunities, your relationships, you're not fully showing up for this anymore because you've accepted the fact that you're no longer in control. So the best way to acknowledge who you are is to look at the full picture, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, everything in between, because all of it is you. Now, that might sound cheesy, but not to anybody who's being honest. Because anybody who's being honest with themselves understands that there's good and bad. They understand that there's beautiful and ugly. They understand what they do and don't want to see in the mirror. They understand where they want their focus to be. They understand when you take a group picture, the only person you look at is yourself. That's a great picture. It means, oh, I look good. I don't really care about anybody else in the picture. That's why it's so hard to get a picture with 10 people who all enjoy it because they all criticize themselves. But what happens when you take a photo like that? What happens when you really talk to other people about you? You look great. You look amazing. You look so cute. You look handsome. Love that suit on you. Love that dress. Love those shoes. All you can do is criticize yourself. So you need to fully embrace the things that you can't change and take control over the things that you can. Choose what you can choose. Accept what you can't choose. Embrace who you are and step into that power because there is only one chance that you get. Only one shot, only one life, only one go around at all this. And you know what, at the end of the day, nobody's gonna criticize that little tiny thing that you just couldn't get past. But what they might criticize and what you might criticize is all the opportunities that you let go because you couldn't see past that one little tiny thing. They're gonna, they're gonna remember that you weren't there. They're gonna remember that you weren't at the car show because of that one little dent that nobody else would notice. But when you show up all anybody can talk about is all the things going on around that little dent, all the things going on around the little thing you don't like about yourself. That's what people see. We need to understand that everyone is walking around with their own insecurities. It's, it's, it's one of the only ways that we can get past our own because all we're doing is criticizing ourselves, thinking that everybody else has it figured out, thinking everybody else has it made, thinking everybody else is walking around strutting because they're confident and we just can't be that person. Sit down with one of those people, grab somebody and ask them how they feel about themselves. Talk to someone about their insecurities, be open. And I guarantee you they will have a laundry list of things that you never would have expected that they're insecure about. And the more perspective we have on that, the more we can step into our own power and our own well-being and embrace the journey and understand that we may never be perfect. And there's a reason for that, because nobody is. Nobody ever will be, nobody ever has been. It's an impossible standard. When you meet people that are models online or Instagram influencers or all these different people you think have a perfect life and you see them in person, they don't quite look like how they looked online. It's because something was photoshopped, something was airbrushed. Now why would that be? Why would these perfect people that we compare ourselves to all the time need to airbrush something? Why would they need to Photoshop something? 
It's because they have their own insecurities. It's because they know that they're not perfect and they feel the same pressure you feel to express a perfect image that doesn't exist. And that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's putting themselves into the world as a brand, as a product, as an image that doesn't exist. But you know what they're not doing? You know what people are not doing on a regular basis is embracing the flaws. They're not embracing these things that make us human and make us real. And when we do that, when we appreciate who we are, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, everything, that's when things happen. That's when the magic happens. That's when we put ourselves out there in a way that not only makes us feel better about ourselves, but attracts people and opportunities to us in return. Because the only thing more beautiful than beauty is confidence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.